the Drew Barrymore Show. How do you do? Tune in to see her have a blast by herself in a big empty studio. Holy moly only. We have Chloe getting to show off impressions of Drew Barrymore, Reese Witherspoon, and Nicole Kidman in this parody of the Drew Barrymore Show. Now, John, you didn't realize it was real the first time you watched it. No. So what did you think of the sketch? I love how blissfully ignorant I am of whatever is happening on a network or basic cable or wherever the Drew Barrymore show exists. Um, <laughs> yeah, when I watched this the first time, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that's hilarious that if Ellen's getting all this heat for being a ball buster, that they would get this, you know, space cadet, hippie flower child, Drew Barrymore type uh, to run a, a talk show. Great. You know, that's fantastic premise. But some executive actually was sitting around somewhere <laughs> and and actually did that. You know, like it's not a joke. Yep. That actually happened. Um, <laughs> so I liked it on many levels. Um, but my my hot take on this is Chloe Feynman. She's uh she's doing SNL, you know, like yeah, she's really, really doing SNL. Um her Drew Barrymore. Everyone does a Drew Barrymore because she has a very distinct cadence to her voice and vocal quality. Mm -hmm. But Chloe found something that I don't think I've ever heard anyone else quite master the way that she mastered. In one of the very first uh, shots of her as Drew, she cocks her head up in a very juvenile way and her voice goes up while she lisps something in, in her Drew mm -hmm. Barrymore voice. I am just like you, a boho free spirit, mommy, mother, movie star, since I was six. And good Lord, if that didn't channel like E.T. era Drew Barrymore. Uh, and I thought, wow, wow, what a, a funny little thing to pick up on. Like, because she's not just doing Drew Barrymore in that moment, the dialogue that she was saying was referencing something about, you know, her younger self or whatever. And she found it and she like drew it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just went, wow, <laughs> good for Chloe. Yep. Uh, so that's the one thing that I really wanted to make sure that we highlighted that there was just a fantastic little, it, like she's an impressionist impressionist. She, she knows how to find the, the vocal quality and she knows how to make it funny and uh, good for Chloe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chloe uh, blew me away here. Uh, she's been blowing me away from, you know, all the way back to our masterclass sketches at home and then some stuff she's put out on Instagram over the summer. I mean, sh this girl can do impressions and can find the funny thing in the impression. Mm -hmm. And this was just a perfect example of that. Um, she nailed every one of them to the point that they could have easily had someone else do Reese Witherspoon or mm -hmm. Nicole Kidman. But Chloe probably does it the best. Um, so it was just really good and really inspired. And I think her, her Nicole Kidman impression in particular, I just adore. She did, um, <laughs> a thing on Instagram that was a FaceTime with Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban that I've watched several <laughs> times and just like cry laughed every single time. I mean, it is an amazing impression and I'm so glad I got to see it on the show. I'll have to watch what that sketch. Yes, because the you, Nicole, you watch it. yeah, the Nicole Kidman bit was so short. It was, it was basically a single line. I was like, still, I could tell that was a very good mm -hmm. impression. So I want, yeah, she's to very more. comfortable in it. Yeah. I'm going to seek yeah. after that for sure. Yeah. I'm hoping we get to see some more of these, uh, sketches where they let Chloe just really go crazy and do her thing. So Steve, what did you think? Well, I don't know why John is so surprised that this is an actual show. I mean, if you do the math and all you think of all the teenagers that grew up watching Drew Barrymore pictures. That's true. That's they true. are they are now up with children. They're at home. They are the de they have become the demographic for daytime television. So they're in bed anyways. Yeah, riding in cars with boys is now evolved into uh, Drew Barrymore show. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I forgot it's, about that movie. <laughs> it makes sense, you know. Uh, just like Whoopi before her, it was a. Uh, it was definitely a, a page from the at SNL at home where Chloe was doing a lot of sketches where she was jumping all over the place and filling out basically all of the roles herself. Mm -hmm. So I, it seems like people on the show really liked what Chloe could do when she filled up all of the space herself and didn't kind of rely on more collaborative stuff. So 
it's nice to see them hold on to a few relics that worked from that era. And it's great to see Chloe just be given that little extra screen time where maybe they might throw Melissa in there to do something. But now that's kind of her signature uh, thing is to have like a short in one of the, in, in the episode where she basically does all the impressions and it's a, it's a Chloe vehicle. So mm-hmm. this seems to be what she will be doing a lot more often. And I look forward to that because I know yeah. she's got 101 impressions. Yeah. My best friend, Reese Witherspoon, the best woman on earth. Girl. You are literally mom here on She Queen. I marvel at you. I love you more than Oprah. I love you. I love you so much. I want to come into your room and murder you with a butter spoon. So let's get into our ratings. Okay. Best sketch. Steve, you first. I think Drew Barrymore show was probably the most enjoyable piece. And yeah, I guess that's extra good praise for Chloe, where she basically was the sole talent. So yeah, I think that one is, is the best sketch for me. Yeah. And I'm going to agree with you. It was the highlight of the night. I think it's rewatchable many times over. Great impressions. Really enjoyed it. John, are you going to make it unanimous? I am. The reason being, in our preseason cast, I said, I thoroughly expect the premiere to be heavily laced with COVID and politics, and I just know that that's not going to be what is going to connect with me. All I want is one sketch that sidesteps all that, and it's just lighthearted and goofy and charming and just fun and it's just escapism from all of the other stuff that's going on in the world and this was that for the night not only was it a great sketch for chloe Feynman, so there's there's all of the joy of watching a featured player come into their own so it it already wins uh on those terms but all the more so that it was just some of the the goofiest funnest most uh uh, immediately enjoyable fare that doesn't challenge you (laughs) in any way it just says (laughs) here come come have some some goofy fun with these silly impressions um and it was bright and it just warmed my heart and i don't i don't think there was anything else in this show that tickled me as much as this one did very good uh well on that note i feel like i know what direction this next category might go Mm -hmm. steve who's your mvp i think i think uh I think I'll take the bait there and and give it to (laughs) Chloe. Yeah, sure. She uh, definitely has shown that she wasn't just a convenience for them during uh, COVID Mm -hmm. during the lockdown. You know, it was easy enough to say, okay, we're going to have to do some at home produced stuff. Uh, Chloe pretty much made a name for herself doing this. We can trust her with a little bit of that. But now we see that it's spilt over to studio uh, efforts and and you know working on green screens with the whole uh, with the whole crew behind it. it. It really bodes well for her career wise on the show that they're continuing to give her these vehicles, even though it's no no longer just the easy choice because they have the resources back and they're still doing it. So it's it's great to see and. I think this is the season where we see Chloe uh, do amazing things and becomes, you know, a a, a lockdown. (laughs) Yeah, I'll give the MVP to Chloe as well. That sketch was incredible. And, you know, how rare is it to see someone get to do three impressions in one sketch? You know, she she owned it. It was incredible. Best sketch. It was her sketch. She gets the MVP. She do. John? Should I just no talk pressure. about Chloe Feynman for a couple more minutes? Uh, <laughs> yes. Why not? She's the MVP. She she brought joy into our living rooms. Uh, she, like you guys said, she she's showing that she's planting her flag and that the stuff that she was doing on the at-home editions, uh, it, people took notice. And it's obvious that there's trust there now. And uh, yeah, she really brought that one home. What else is there to say that we haven't already said? This was a, a great showing for Chloe. And uh, I'm just always so happy to see a featured player get a moment like that. So MVP for me. Yeah. She's like the new Dana Carvey with all these impressions that have to yeah. interact with 
with themselves. That's right. It didn't take <laughs> him long to really establish his place at the show and find his niche. Yeah. Yeah. There, I, every now and again, there, there's someone that comes along where it, it becomes very, very easy to throw almost everything at them. I don't know if that's what Chloe's going to be a year or two down the road, but I think that she's setting herself up for a very satisfying season. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this kind of stuff from her because they, they know that she's a go-to for this now. And that's great. That's absolutely great for her. 